The union president who has been working at the FCI Ray Brook prison for over a decade put up this sign behind me just yesterday to sound the alarm on what he is calling staggering low staff levels and low pay. Our prison is basically compared to nationally other medium prisons out there and we are one of the lowest staffing uh, federal prisons out there and with the most inmates. The union representing federal employees says the FCI Ray Brook Detention Center is strapped. They are rated to house 693 inmates and right now that number is up to 914, all while trying to fill 60 open staff positions. If I can find the same job on the street with a private employer making basically the, roughly the same amount of money, I wouldn't want to work in a prison either. Uh, the type of environment you're around, there's international and domestic terrorists here, uh, drug kingpins. It's, you're putting yourself in harm's way. Daryl Pilon says low staffing levels not only impact the workers, but the inmates as well. Now you come to work, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, the inmates are agitated, they're under stress, so aren't the staff. Uh, you don't know if you're going to get mandated uh, for another eight hours. and. People are falling behind on their work, which then agitates the inmates, and it, it's a bad cycle. Workers like James Davis are getting mandated to stay extra eight hour long shifts several times a week. You have guys that are getting mandated on their kids' birthdays. You know, they're supposed to be going home and watch their kids blow out a birthday cake, and now they have to stay another eight hours because there isn't somebody to take their spot. Starting pay at the prison is around $21 per hour. The union president told me he's waiting to hear back from both the federal and regional bureaus on a 1 to 25% pay increase for staff. In North Elba, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.